Hi guys, so my um, camera is being really stupid and for some reason forbidding me to post videos or I mean film videos I think it might be something wrong with the SD card. I ordered another one online the other day so it should be coming soon but I was bored today because it's President's Day here in the US and I didn't have work although I did have school but I only have like a couple hours of school um, but I'm usually at work from 10 to 3 and I didn't have that time so um, I have time today, so I wanted to film a video because I'm procrastinating doing my Ficker quests. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm just working on a fic, and it's hard because I have to write about somebody being drunk, and I've never been drunk, and I've never been around somebody being drunk, so it's weird. But I digress. I asked people to send in a question questions for a Q&A video because I haven't done one in a couple months, <laughs> and I always get like lots of interesting questions from people, and so I figure like just in my everyday ask box, so I figured. I might make another video in case anybody wants to see it and I couldn't think of any other video to do so yeah um sorry for the poor quality this is my macbooks um camera and I'm sitting on my mother's bed which is why it looks like a mess because I destroyed it there I've got some questions from tumblr users all of you people are anonymous and it's kind of sad but i understand it okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and i have like dueling devices i'm just gonna go ahead on my phone and answer what does mitzpah mean slash stand for mitzpah is um gosh okay the reason why i have mitzpah on my blog i'm assuming that's why you're asking the reason why i have mitzpah on my blog is because it says it's from the infertile devices um and it was what Jem said to Tessa, and I think it means, um, I, I don't actually, I forgot to Google this before I started filming, goodness. Um, it said, it's something like, um, may, uh, it's something, it's basically like saying Mizpah is like, uh, until we meet again. It's like, it's, it's more confidence than it's saying goodbye. It's like, because like, I know you'll come back, you know, it's not like this big tragic thing or whatever. It's like, I know you'll come back, because I'm not going to say goodbye. And it's suppose like in the in the Bible it was the Lord watch over thee and me until we are until we are reunited. The reason why I put on my blog is because I really like um, like the phrasing from the infernal devices and it's really pretty. And I could only put one word in that little description thing, like it only let me put one, so I just chose Mitzvah because it seemed like a good one. <laughs> so much like imaginative and thoughtful there. I just did it because I'm a goofus. Next question is talk to us about your fic writing process. Um, I would talk about the process, if there was a process, but there is not. Here's how my fic writing goes. Amanda sees the prompt. Amanda stares at the prompt. Amanda wonders how to write the prompt. Amanda writes three sentences of the prompt and then abandons it for scrolling through her Tumblr dash again. Then Amanda eventually goes back to the prompt and the same cycle repeats about four or five times until I finally finish the fic, post it, and then move on. I read them read it through again and like am hit with crippling regret because I'm like I could have done that better I could have written more of that crap 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 and sometimes I edit it but usually I don't because like everybody's already seen it so but yeah I don't have a fic writing process now um I find it easier to write things that people have requested than things that I've thought of because I found that things that I thought of people usually dislike um I don't write solely for everyone else I write for my own enjoyment as well but I just prefer to post things that I know people will like Consequently, a lot of the fics that I have written just for myself have stayed on my computer and I have never posted them anywhere simply because I don't think it's worth it. Like, I mean, I don't know. I just, it, it doesn't seem like a thing that I should do. Okay, the next question is, for the video, what is something that you'd like to tell each of your mutuals on your friends page? I don't actually remember who's on my friends page because I'm a terrible person, so I need to go look that up because uh, I can't spell my Sometimes Safari really annoys the crap out of me. Like, I just don't like it. I prefer Chrome. Probably mostly because it runs, um, XKit. Anna, I would want to tell you that I really like talking with you. I know we don't do it a lot, but I really do enjoy talking with you, and you play really, really, really lovely piano, and I know that I've told you this before, but it's really good. Um, and I really like your Jocelyn and Luke fix. They give me, like, feels that I didn't even know I was capable of having <laughs> for that ship. Um, and you're, like, a really, like, cool and accepting person, and I love how you keep your head, and you don't really get involved in the Tumblr drama and all that. You kind of just stay chill, stay to yourself, and I like that about you, so keep it up. Brenda, I would say I am not kidding. I freaked out when you talked to me and when you followed me and when you, when you read my AU. 
just because like I really admire you and I think that you're really cool and you're just a really like bubbly and energetic person and the more that I talk to you the more that I realize like you've gone through so much in your life and um you came out of it a genuinely better person for it and you don't let that stuff define you and you don't let your circumstances define you and I wish that I had the confidence that you do and I think that you're really cool um obviously your writing skills are impeccable and I really have enjoyed getting to know you and I'm really happy that you talked to me because I would never have talked to you because I'm a shy awkward potato but uh yeah thank you for talking to me and sharing little bits and pieces of yourself with me and of course talking about smut and Blackstairs 2.0 also let's not forget screaming about the hundred because honestly they're my children and I'm really happy that I got hooked on that fandom and it's partially your fault thanks if my heart gets broken by the season one finale, it's on you and my sister, but mostly you. Kate, I would, oh goodness. Okay, first of all, you are the reason why my iPhone autocorrects like all of the Blackthorn names, Black Stairs, and like millions of other words in all caps. Like you are the reason my iPhone autocorrects everything in all caps because every single text thread we've ever had usually ends up in us talking in all caps even when it's highly unnecessary just because so there's that <laughs> but um i really miss you i really miss getting to talk to you i understand why like i mean you're really busy with school and everything um which is good like keep it up and i'm really glad this semester is easy for you easier for you than last semester um i really really liked writing our story and i can't wait till we get to continue it you're really funny and i really can't wait until march of next year <sighs> When we get to um, meet, hopefully, and read Lady Midnight together, because that's going to be really exciting, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and you're a really good, you're a really good person. Like, I mean, I know that you get down on yourself, and you think that you're disappointment, um, but you're not. Like, you are, you're great. I mean, anybody would be lucky to have you as a sister, a daughter, a friend, and anyone who thinks otherwise can just jump off a cliff. That's all I have to say on that subject. Cat, you. You're adorable. You remind me so much of my sister. Why did my screen suddenly get brighter? That's weird. You remind me so much of my sister. You have this incredible sarcastic sense of humor. Your writing is to die for. And to crown it all off, you are the probably the most like aware person I've ever met. Like you know what's going on in the world and you correct people when they're wrong, but not in a mean like scary way. And you're just generally really accepting, um, really, like, educated, and I don't know, like, I really enjoy talking with you. I'm a little intimidated by you still, but that's just me. But no, I really, like, I really like talking to you. I really enjoy seeing your sarcasm and presence on my feed. And also, if it weren't for you, I would never have gotten into the Raven Cycle, so thanks for that. <laughs> that those books are gonna ruin my life, and it's all your fault. Elkie, okay, um, I honestly, I view you as an older sister figure of sorts, um, which is quite, I'm not gonna say it's quite a common, but it's quite, it is quite unusual for me because I typically am resistant to allowing people into a position over me, like a, a fatherly, motherly, or older sibling position over me. I do not look up to very many people, um, aside from my mother. That's pretty much it. Just simply because I haven't really found anybody worth looking up to. But you are a person that's worth looking up to. Um, you are logical and you are smart and you're funny. <laughs> you're really funny. And um, you have such wisdom to offer me and to offer everyone. And I think that because there's such a grand difference in, in our age and in our lives, you're able to offer me wisdom uh, and, and advice that I couldn't get from anybody else. Because with you, there is no judgment. And, um, I'm gonna get choked up. <laughs> I am, I am at a place in my life where I don't, I'm, I've been negatively judged by many people. And so it's nice to come to somebody outside of my family and ask for advice and get, um, get, um, advice from somebody who isn't gonna judge me. That's you. <laughs> um, you, you always listen, um, and you understand me. And... Um, it gives me hope, like, that maybe growing up, like, and getting to be your age, um, maybe won't be as scary as I think it is, because if you can do it, then I'm pretty sure that I can do it. So, um, yeah, 
I'm gonna cry. I'm sorry, but yeah, um, I really do enjoy talking to you. I love reading your fix. I love writing fix with you. Um, and yeah, I think I think you're really cool. Like, don't stop doing what you're doing because um, it really does. It does make a difference. I know that you probably don't believe that, but I mean, it does. It really, it truly does. Erica, you're related to me, so I already, you already know what all, most of what I'm gonna say. But you, <laughs> you, my child, are. Uh, you're my sister. You're my best friend. You are the, <laughs> you are the Isabel to my Alec, the Gem to my Will, the. Jace to my Alec. Um, we are Monty and Jasper. We're the Blake siblings. We are pick a Blackthorn pair. We're the twins. We're the Blackthorn twins. We are a combination of all the best and the worst of any fictional sibling duel that you can think of. And I love it. I would not trade it for the world. I honestly don't think believe that uh, anybody will ever know me as well as you do. And I like it that way. I mean, I think that there's no better person to know you than your sibling. And um, yeah, we fight a lot. Okay, we fight, our fights go up and down. Sometimes we don't fight, sometimes we fight a lot, but no matter what, I know that if I was in trouble, you would come and help me, and I hope that you know that if you were ever screwed up, if you were ever in some sort of trouble, if you ever got screwed over, I'd be there in a second, and I would probably shoot somebody's head off with your 22. No, I, I really do love your presence in my life, and I am always going to be thankful that we do not have the strain or distant relationship that many siblings have because honestly I don't think that I could live with that. You are too um you're you're too good of, of a friend to have in my life to to lose that. Laura. Oh goodness. Um so your characterization of the Blackthorns that one time we were talking on Skype literally made me almost spit out my cereal because it was really funny. Um you write many 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 good fix and you give me feels and I'm still working on collecting um, resources for your poetry stuff because I just got access to a new database on my college so my college is like account so I can find the better sources so I'm still working on that as a aside anyway um you are really you're like just you're funny and you're a genuine like sweetheart like you're just such a genuine loving loyal person and you're really funny and you have gotta have more confidence in yourself I mean come on there is absolutely no reason to doubt yourself okay you are fantastic just the way you are and I hope that eventually you'll come to see that because honestly you're great and and I, I understand your insecurities I I have the same ones but I mean there's no reason to be insecure you are a great person you are awesome and I respect you and I love you very much Megan you give me feels your head cannons rip my heart out and then your fix run them over and yet somehow I still come back and read more of them because apparently I like losing my head and apparently I like getting my heart ripped out so thanks for that you are so pretty like oh I just I I want to look like you anyway um and you are very what's the word I forgot the word what's the word for you what is it charismatic you are very charismatic um you're very easy to interact with um, you have such a good sense of humor. You take compliments so graciously. Like, I could never, like, I, I don't take compliments well. Ask anybody that has ever complimented me. I don't take them well at all, but you do, and I admire that about you. Like, you go. You... <laughs> Bravo. Okay. Uh, I don't actually know how to say your name. Is it Tate? I feel like that's wrong. I Please correct me if I'm wrong. I apologize, but I'm going to type up the, the word here because I know you all know who you are. I freaked out when you told me that you wanted to be friends with me and like that you were afraid to talk to me and that you thought I was cool because I'm not cool. I'm a total dork. Just scroll through my feed and you'll know you probably already know. Go look through my blog. You'll know that I'm a total idiot. Um, but like you're honestly, you're very friendly and you're really sweet and I like the way that you just put yourself out there and you're just like, hey, this is me, you know, love it or leave it. And that to me, that's really inspiring and I wish that more people in the world we're like you because I think that we'd all get along much better if we were. And finally, Veronica, who apparently I'm her wife. You are, honestly, I think of Magnus Bane every time I think of you, and I don't know why because you're not even a guy. But um, I think it's because you have that like flamboyant nature and you're very like loving and very supportive and funny. And um, I really, I really do, I miss talking to you, but I can't find you on Skype. Trickle.
but you're really great and I really love you and um yeah I hope that you're doing okay we haven't like I haven't seen you around a lot but I hope you're doing okay and yeah that's what I would say to all my mutuals all right that is all of my questions this video is really long and I'm sorry but I really enjoyed filming this for you it was a great way to spend my day off um, and now I gotta go eat lunch because it's like three o'clock and I'm hungry so thank you for watching you guys again I'm really sorry about the poor quality um I hope the sound turns out okay um, my, ca my camera will be back and running hopefully in a couple days the SD card I think is supposed to get here today or it's supposed to get here tomorrow um so hopefully by then I'll have some decent quality videos but I just really miss talking to you guys through the camera so yeah I'm gonna let you go thank you for watching um, if there's any videos you want me to do as always just send me a request and I'll do them. But yeah, thank you so much and I hope you have a really good week. And yeah, I love you. Bye. Excuse me, guys. I need to fix this. I have some sort of like weird hairstyle going on today. I went to the gym with my sister, so it looks bad. Oh, normally I have really cute like Clark Griffin style hair and today it just looks awful. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to film a video today because my hair looks like trash. What the heck? My computer just went to sleep.